Whatever you do, don't hire a line producer until you've created a budget yourself. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Alexi Uzas. I'm a film producer and owner of Exile Entertainment, a production company based in Australia, and we finance and produce feature films. We've done eight in the last six years. We've helped a bunch more get financed and move into production. And I make these videos to help you on your filmmaking journey. So what do you, how do you come up with you know, a ballpark figure of how much you actually need to raise in order to make your feature film. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is you just grab a piece of paper and you write down two things. Number one, what are the resources that you currently have available? So how much cash do you have? What locations do you have? How much equipment do you have? So this is you personally and any other producers that are part of the project. So you wanna work out what all those resources are. And then the next thing that you should determine is what are the resources that you can get access to? So, you know, is there a DP that you know that can provide a camera? Is there a sound recorder that can come with equipment? Um, are there locations that you know, you know, of friends or something that you're pretty confident that you can get for free? What are all those things? And then when it comes to the cash that you may be able to access, what you want to do is just have a think about your current network, your circumstances, and think about and try and basically give yourself a figure or try and come up with a figure of how much you or you and your team think you can raise. Right? And this is something that A, is very um, subjective, B, it's somewhat abstract, but you need it as a starting point, right? There's no point saying, I'm gonna go raise a million dollars if you have A, no idea how to do it, B, no network, um, and, and C, you, you have no framework or no system for going out and doing that. So you just wanna set yourself a goal that is you know, just a little bit higher than, than maybe what's achievable, right? It makes you just a little bit uncomfortable, but not too uncomfortable. Because in my view, making a feature film is hard enough, right? So don't make that harder by going out there and trying to raise a level of finance or private equity that is just unachievable. So that's basically how I would come up with how much finance I need to raise for a feature film. Then what I would do is put together a budget. So you have all these resources, you have the cash, you, have, you know what all these things are, push all that into a budget and then that's going to give you an idea about how to make the budget fit within that finance. So you're not coming up with a budget and then trying to find finance to match that. You're creating the finance plan first. You're fitting the budget into the finance plan and then you're molding the creative around those things. And if you do it in that way, you're giving yourself a much higher chance of actually getting the film financed and getting it into production, which is going to put you at another level um, and in another kind of subsection of filmmakers that is much smaller, right? There's so many filmmakers who are trying to make a feature film, but you know, the percentage that actually go on and make a feature film is much smaller. So you wanna give yourself the best chance of progressing and moving into that ne next subsection. And in my experience, this is the best way to do it. Once you have those things, that's the point that you go and attach a line producer. So when you bring a line producer on, you really want to give them some parameters, right? You don't want to just give them a script, hand them a script and say, hey, come up with a budget. Because budgeting can be so open-ended, right? Like you could spend so much money on lighting equipment or gripping equipment. Um, you could spend a lot of money on cast, depending on who you're trying to cast. Um, you could shoot for, you know, I mean, you could shoot for days and days, right? But if you give them parameters, you say, these are the parameters that we're working with, this is where it needs to fit, they're gonna come back to you with any issues. They're gonna say, look, this is where it's working or this is where it's not working. And that's where you as a filmmaker, as a producer, can firstly come up with any kind of productions, producing solutions or production solutions, right? Like how can you, how can you um, find these um, oh sorry, how can you like either find a way to bring that cost down 
or you come up with creative solutions, right? So you go back to the screenplay and you say, okay, like, is there another way that we can shoot this that's going to alleviate some of those costs? And so those documents and that process becomes like this kind of live organism. And there's no real end to when that process finishes other than like right before pre-production. So it's very natural and normal for that budget, the finance plan um, and the screenplay to keep evolving as you get closer to pre-production. But what you wanna do, as I mentioned earlier in this video, is start with that finance because then you know at least you're making or you're going to go through this process and you're gonna undertake all this work and spend all this time and all this energy giving yourself the best chance of the film actually going into production. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope that gives you a new maybe framework or way to look at how you should approach financing um, your feature films. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, that way you can get notified when we post videos and we will see you on the next one.